everyone, it's James George with Create a Beacon, and this week we're going to talk about the Pathfinder panel. Uh, this is one of the most useful tools or panels inside of Adobe Illustrator for creating shapes quickly. And I'll show you what I mean. So let's say you want to create a moon shape. Well, you know, you could get out your pen tool and try to draw it, which would be, you know, it'd take forever and it wouldn't look right and it's a waste of time. Or you could take the ellipse tool, draw the circle, and hold down your alter option key and drag out a copy. And so let's say we wanted it to, typically the moon, moon shapes will go upward like that. And so you can see that this little piece right here will be the moon. What the Pathfinder panel does is it allows you to take away or combine or overlap or take the overlapping area of shapes and get rid of everything else so that you only use the portion that's left. So you have these two here. This will merge the shapes together. It will unite the shapes into one. So now you have this sort of I don't, it's not even a real shape. I really don't know what you would call that. But for the purpose of our moon, this circle is in front of this one. And so this is called minus front, and it subtracts the front object from, from the back one. There's a two second moon. It can take you five minutes to draw that with the pen tool, or two seconds to and create it with the Pathfinder panel. And there's, this is really useful for a lot of other stuff too. So let's say you want to create complicated shapes. We'll just align these just for, I'm just copying these and making them overlap. And so all these overlap. And let's say you just you just wanted an interesting pattern like this. You can use, or if you just wanted these as separate shapes, this would be really handy too. But we'll just go through these different panels. So where everything intersects, that's the shape that's left over. We use a better example. Let's rotate this to where it's vertical and let's make a copy. And so you can see if you select that, that this is the area right here where these two shapes overlap. If you click this, that's what's left. And this is this is called intersect. It determines what the intersecting shapes are. And gets rid of everything else. This one excludes what's overlapping and keeps everything else. So if you click this, you have these two shapes, which that's really handy because you see these shapes in a lot of different things. Now let's say that you have this, we'll get rid of this. Say you have this complicated shape right here and you want all these little pieces individually as you know that you can work with this uh, divide button right here will divide all of that and so it's grouped together so if you hit command or control depending on if you're on the mac or pc shift and g that will ungroup all of these and now you have all these complex individual shapes in a matter of seconds. So you could get rid of certain pieces. That's what you have left. Really cool design that you can create some really interesting patterns and, and things just by overlapping shapes. So let's back up here. And so we're back we're back to square one here. This will trim everything to where it just keeps your basic shapes. 
And depending on the stack here, that's what you have left. And so the, the object that's in the front will remain untouched. And then it just sort of trims everything else. So this trims this, this trims this, and this. And so that's, that's, those are the pieces you have left. This will merge as well. You merge everything into one shape. This will crop things depending on what your top object is. So let's actually bring this back. It crops everything, but you, you can see that you still have uh, the ghost of this shape here. Because this is uh, this is the top one, you can see that, that this is the top shape. So you have you still have this the ghost of this shape. Go forward here. You can select these shapes and instantly go to the outline. But this is really simple, but it, it uh, save, actually saves you a step. If you look at this, it's actually got a zero pixel stroke. That might throw you off a little bit, but it's it is pretty interesting. And then this is minus back, so it just does the the opposite of what minus front does. So like this is the back, like this, and you have just this remaining piece left over. The Pathfinder tool is something I use every day. I don't go a day without using the Pathfinder. Panel just because you know I can make such complex shapes much quicker than I could draw them with the pen tool. Hopefully that will speed up your workflow and help you to create your own complex shapes a lot quicker and easier. Well, that's it for this week. I'm James George and this is Creative Beacon.